If you've interviewed before, it's likely you've been asked a few questions that started off with something like, tell us about a time when you, or give us an example of a time when you. These are known as behavioral interview questions, and they dive straight into your real life experiences so the interviewers can get to know you and how you operate. They're going off the premise that your past actions will be good indicators for your future behaviors. So instead of asking you to explain your philosophical approach to leadership, they want to hear a specific personal story about you walking out your leadership values. Like the old phrase goes, show me, don't tell me. Behavioral questions tend to target skills or qualities that might be difficult to measure or assess through standard means. Common topics include areas like teamwork, failure, accomplishment, or conflict. Sometimes you can even anticipate likely behavioral questions by studying the job description and the company, paying special attention to the qualifications or workplace culture seeking soft skills or those intangible skills. To help put a framework around answering behavioral questions, a simple acronym was created called the STAR method, which stands for Situation, Task, Action, and Result. Following this simple approach will give you clear direction on what the employer is looking for in an answer and keep you focused on relevant information. Aim for about three minutes for the length of your behavioral answers. This usually ensures the right amount of detail while maintaining focus on the prompt. Let's break the STAR method down a bit further. Starting with the situation, describe the context of your story or example. Be specific, giving enough detail for the listener to imagine the setting. This is usually the who, what, where type of information of your story and shouldn't take more than about 15 to 20 seconds. Task will explain the task, goal, or problem facing you or your team. Describe any constraints or challenges you needed to overcome in this situation. Action. Next, share the action steps you took in the situation. Remember, they're looking to get to know you and how you react to circumstances. So even if in a team setting, ensure they see your role or contribution. The bulk of your story will focus on the action and the last step, the result. Result is when you share what happened or how things resolved or concluded. Even better, expand this portion of your story to include what was accomplished, what you learned, or how you applied your knowledge. Communicate the so what, who cares. Stories have the most impact when they've changed or influenced someone. How did that experience with failure shape you into the person that you are now? What did you learn from that team conflict that helped you navigate a similar situation in the future? To be prepared for the wide range of possible behavioral questions that may be asked in an interview, come up with a list of competencies, attributes, and skills you've used, and practice telling about them using the STAR method. Build up your story database with lots of ready-to-go examples to avoid struggling on the spot during the real interview. And lastly, practice. This will boost your confidence as you determine word choice, level of detail, and delivery. Answer behavioral interview questions with confidence using the STAR method for your next interview. Want some practice and feedback before the real thing? Schedule a mock interview or interview prep appointment with Career Services and check out our interview brainstorm worksheet on our website.